Hello my fellow Rusters, Russell Crow here bringing you a quick video on surviving raids for solo players. Now I've been playing solo for a while and normally I follow the conventional wisdom which says find a uh, hidden space far away from the populated areas and build a base that's as fortified as possible. Now this time since the blueprints wiped this cycle I wanted to build right here in between the airfield on one side I got power lines going right over top of me and there's a warehouse right on the other side here and you can actually see my base from the ground so I was not making any effort to hide I was going absolutely for convenience so that I could have easy access to blueprint fragments and so I wanted to test my theories and see if I was able to effectively counter offline raiding because when you're building in Rust, especially when you're building solo, you basically have to accept two things. One is that you will get raided, and the other is that you will probably get raided while you're offline. Most people are not polite enough to wait until you're online to raid you. So how do you effectively counter an offline raid if you don't want to spend hours and hours grinding and building honeycombed walls? Well, what I did is I started off with a crappy little shack like this. And you might recognize this, it's similar to uh, Casey Mojo's biggest little base design. And it actually looks so crappy. I mean, you can see underneath of these little roofs sticking off. There's a box there, you can see a furnace and a box here. It, it looks so unsecure that no one has bothered to even try to raid it, despite the fact that uh, it's been here since the beginning of the wipe cycle and people have raided this area and come through this area constantly no one's touched this thing and it's had some of my best gear in it in this uh, secure back compartment and in the middle the entire time and the second building that I built was this one over here and it's basically just a square foundation with some triangle foundations coming off of it and one of them is sealed in with a tool cupboard inside of it and then I threw you know I got this uh, twig wall and a twig roof on it and crappy twig steps and I basically just used this as my furnace room and this is also where I would store most of my ore and building materials and no one has ever raided this one either so after that I built this slightly larger base and that much larger base up there and both of those got raided in fact they both got raided or this one got raided once and that one got raided twice and on both occasions because most of my gear was in these buildings that are right here and much easier to raid uh, no one touched them and I got to keep most of my stuff while the raiders wasted C4 and rockets ad nauseum blowing up walls looking for loot rooms that didn't exist or that didn't have the kind of stuff that they were hoping for so I did end up losing a little bit of stuff but not anything that I was too concerned about uh, I never had to sign on and start over so that's kind of the main goal in countering raids, I think. So, uh, yeah, just to review, basically, if you don't feel like hiding and building a super large base, which you have to grind out resources for, try building multiple smaller bases that look like they're semi-abandoned. You can do so by adding little pieces of twig that you don't upgrade, or by making them look like crap, making them look unsecure. And once you've got that, You've got a safe place, uh, theoretically, to store your stuff, and you can start working on a larger base to live in. And uh, now these were built in the rocks because I just like building in and around rocks, which made them much less secure because you can get on top easily. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but that was just my own prerogative. So thank you for watching. I apologize for the poor recording quality. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better on this one than last time. Um, I would like to keep making videos, so if you give this a like or a share and help me get a few more viewers, uh, I figure if I can get up to about 2,000 views per video, it'll be worth purchasing some better recording software. So that's where I'm at with that, but uh, I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you gleaned some small bit of wisdom from this. I'm Russell Crowe, you stay classy.